Honestly, you think you're becoming braver at the game, and then this happens. What's the? Oh, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. You think you're starting to get good at the game, and then this happens. <laughs> you think you've seen a big dinosaur before, and then this happens. Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 don't come this way. Welcome to Ark Survival Ascended, a journey of Dino the Dino Slayer exploring these strange, strange lands, and today we go further than we have ever been before. We walk over some uncharted territory and explore some new horizons. This little birdie has well and truly left the nest. And it wouldn't be possible to leave the nest if it wasn't for you wonderful YouTube members. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. It really does mean a lot. Our adventure today starts with the building of a safety fence around my base. Or should I say attempted building? <laughs> Why is everything I do in this damn game... The, the jankiest thing you've ever seen. I'm trying to just put a... I thought what would be a simple fence all the way around, but it's not... How the, what's going on here? I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go that way. Do I have to stand here then? Honestly, the things I do for some sort of self-preservation, but I do also have some light sticks. Torches. Wall torch. No idea why I called them light sticks there. I think we're gonna put some it'll be cool to put them on the outside because then like you can see the base from like a mile away but also at the same time as you can see we really need some torches here so I'll maybe put one there as well bosh oh nice look at that glow look at the glow that it gives me right I don't have one for that one but we just need to basically um shock I know what's this much is doing more harvesting to get some wood <laughs> <laughs> another day another logging session eradicating my hill of trees but it is all for the greater good it's just a shame about the local wildlife what's there oh my god a dilf oh baby Im wait what Imprint? What is this? Twilight? <gasps> That's a thing? Oh, <gasps> I've got... Wait, does this... Have I tamed it? Is that... It? Can you... Oh, my God. Whoa. Um... Uh, um... <laughs> Dilf. Oh, saw. Am I right? <laughs> Come on. You're level 15 as well. What do you do? Maturation. Oh, you're going to grow. All right, hold up. Do you need things? Yeah, let me put some, uh, let me put some berries in for you, mate. You eat berries, right? What's your weight? 48. So, um, how do I get a um, modify ordering groups? Try, oh. Oh my god, no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to click off the wheel and I had my crossbow in my hand and then I just clicked the button and I killed it, Mini. <laughs> I just killed a child under my care. My darkest moment. Imprinted on a young juvenile dinosaur, yet to be influenced into a life of killing and scavenging. That whole world was at that Dilphosaur's feet for approximately eight seconds. And then due to a premature discharge, I committed an accidental execution. I am ashamed. 
But I also had more wood, which meant I could finish my fence. We're learning things. Look, my headphones are broken. See, when I was playing Sonorica, I kept like yanking everything. And look, can you see that? Hold up. There we go. Look, it's broken on the plus. I actually have a massive head and I don't like say that lightly it's genuinely fucking ginormous see where i grew up i grew up in in a really um northwest of england little place called cumbria this will summarize it the best the school i went to I had the option to do like what's called a b-tech which is a shit gcse i don't know what the equivalent is in north america i was early teenagers years and i could do um canoeing instead of another subject so i did canoeing and every wednesday we used to go in the morning and we go to this canoe place for grown ass people, grown ass man helmet heads, helmets would not fit on my head as like a 14 year old child. It is, je I don't know, I should measure it one day. I don't have any ref, here we go. Oh, come on card, this is my uh, Venusaur from the Pokemon for everyone. I don't really, that's, I don't think that's the best for scale. There's a, there's a can of Pepsi, 330 mil. Anyway, it's an enormous head and it's, Honestly, you'd be surprised how disadvantaged you can be with a with a massive head. Where was I? Cuatro. Cinco says, and a gap that I can't walk through. There we have it. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, no, there's meant to be a gap there. Right. So this is what we've done. Have a gander at this, troops. Have a gander at this. So we've got our big-ass Jurassic... Uh, part gates which is to kind of keep the bigger animals out and then on each side so we've got over here we've got a little gate and it's basically just as i mean that's still if i jump i'm still fucked but just walking into that i'm not going to fall off so it, it's gonna prevent hopefully any accidents as of us falling over and then we've also got over this way and what's so beautiful about this place is that any to get into the base you can only really get to it from here because recording these off now and you can't really get to it from the back. We need to do something with that garden. But um, this is feeling a whole lot more secure now. Feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. Man, it felt good to finally have somewhat of an established and secure base. The big gates would keep my dinos in. And the big walls would keep the cold out. And speaking of big walls... My big balls were ready to go on another adventure. <laughs> oh, there's one thing that I really wish that we had. Um, uh, what would you call it? Like a spyglass. That was it. Crystal. Where the hell do we get crystal from? I'm thinking a rock, maybe a refiner, which we're going to do eventually. I need to do the refiner because I need metal in it. I need metal for metal things. Where's the refiner or the smelter? Refi... Ref oh, I've already got it. Ah. Okay. All right. We'll do that when we come back. I promise you. Because we ain't been on a proper adventure in a minute. I mean, we did kind of go on one last time to, like, get headwork and what. But, the, I mean, we've not been far. And I want to go far. I want to go and have... We tried to get to that one, and that wasn't happening because... Everything went wrong when we went there. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, what the f- oh, Shit! We were a better man now. A more experienced man. I'd encountered some bumps along the way, but I was still here, still kicking. The measure of a man isn't how hard he can hit, but how hard he can get hit and keep moving forward about how much he can take and keep moving forward this time we planned our rocky adventure a little bit more carefully there was an interesting looking island on the map with what looked like a potential structure on top on the very southwest edge this was now our target so off we went heading west and into the unknown oh little ones <laughs> this thing's like a shotgun, honestly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Look, you can't. Don't start what you can't finish. You're all fart and no shit. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. And what were the commons shouting at me for? Oh yeah, more hide with a with an axe and more meat with a pickaxe? I want more hide. Yeah, that was 29. What's this? Yeah, that's more meat. Right, okay. So we definitely go for that. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Right, I've, let me make uh, one of these. I really would like an improved spear. Which I'm presuming there is. Because I see... I don't watch any ARC content, obviously. I've never watched any ARC content, like I said before. I think in the first video. Um, but the, what I'm exposed to in the game is uh, uh, YouTube comments. Which I... It's a really... <laughs> interest and balance trying to be as engaging with you guys as possible which i love doing and i, I want to answer as many comments as i can and i you know read as many but there's also some people that are in there that are trying to be helpful but are quite spoilery so it's kind of like getting a good balance between the two but the main kind of thing that i see in the game is from thumbnails because obviously i'll, I'll look at what kind of people are doing for thumbnails and, and whatnot and i've seen metal spears and a thumbnail so <laughs> what are you, itchy, itchy, itchy Theornus? Prehistoric pigeon type. That makes me go a bit. I don't like that the way that the feathers are coming through. That's a bit. Makes me feel a little bit wappy. That makes my. T I think it's a similar thing to trip tripophobia. Oh, I get it when we get a turkey and it's still got the fucking things in. The feathers in? You get, no, I can't. I feel ill. Let's stop talking about that. We weren't quite in uncharted territory yet, but we were heading that way. Keeping on the coast felt safer. It was more open, and we had a wider field of view to spot any dangers that might jump up on us. That is so much further away than I thought. I, I think I did this last time. There is a supply drop over there, though. We should maybe just try and go, like, supply drop to supply drop and... Can I see what we find? I'd love some more, like, metal tools and things. Uh... Oh, God, I forgot. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. That's what was here last time. <laughs> Fuck me, right? I'm not... <laughs> That's too much ocean to even consider. That's the island we're going to. Um... What we should do is... I don't want to lose this crossbow. Well, maybe play it really, really safe and... He's getting more and more this way. Fuck that. that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That is, um... He is genuinely terrifying. I'm going to cut inland a lot. And then we're going to loop around it if we can. Oh, God. I, 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 how, how, how am I ever meant to get to a level where I can confront them? And I don't just mean level in the game. I mean, like, in real life, level of competence and skill and gear and weapons. What the fuck? An equipment to to kill one of those things. I wasn't naive. I knew we were immensely underprepared to encounter anything bigger than a slightly above average raptor. But if I didn't think about it, I didn't feel too depressed. Anyway, I always had the light shafts to cheer me up. Oh, the light shaft here. Oh, 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 oh my days. It makes me so just joyous and happy. Oh, that doesn't... Oh! No, that's not on me, is it? Shit. No. Oh, no. Is that coming after me? Oh, oh fuck. Oh, my quads are sore. Why am I tensing my quads? That offers me no advantage to anything playing video games. Okay. Well, maybe need to go a little bit slower here. We did start to go slower. And just further down the river, we reached an area we had not yet set foot on. And saw creatures we had not yet seen. I'm so glad the water's clear in this game. If it wasn't, it would be a lot worse. Oh! Wait a minute. What are you? You're like a cow. You're like a... Okay. He... It attacked a tree. That means he's a herbivore, right? Um, what's the best way of getting across here? I mean, I should be fine swimming. What is that? 
What is that? What's Bulbasaur attacking? Not Bulbasaur, Blastoise. Oh, I jumped on it. I didn't mean to do that. What was that? Is that a snake? Oh. What are you? You're friendly. Fem Femonia. What is this? Titan boa. It's a titan boa. It gives me a lot of hide. Oh, hello. Whoa. I'm sure you're very beautiful on the inside, but Oh god, I didn't I didn't say anything about your mum. Oh god. Every now and then this happens. You guys probably can't see because you only get 60 FPS, but I don't I get less than 100 FPS. I have to restart. Hold on, let me save the game. Did I save the game? Continuing down the river, we encountered some sort of mangrove. Oh. Oh, this is like... Oh, mangrovey and swampy. What is that in my ear? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that is a slug. No, a snail. Oh, oh no. I thought I got something from it. Can I get, can I collect this? What's this? What function do you have? I can't interact with you. I thought I could hear something viscous, moist and wet in my ear. That is not. <laughs> oh, it is. I, I chat. Achatina. Okay, now in real life, I know um, uh, alligators or crocodiles, I can't remember which one, uh, are in mangrove swamps areas. I went on holiday to Florida once. Bruh! Oh, we didn't kill it. Oh, shit. That did, though. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at all those trees. Look at the fog in the trees as well. Did that bird do that? Or is there something on the other side of it? Look, there's the the cow. Wait, is that the pig thing or the cow thing? Or is that a long neck the lizard? No. Oh, wait, that's the. Wait, are they hippos? So mysterious. Show me your face. Oh. Oh, you're like a the semi long necked lizard. You are like it. I mean, it's not really like a cow. Is it? It's not like a cow at all. I think you're friendly. Oh. Tapir? Is that what you look like? A massive tapir? I'm trying to think. Don't drown. Jesus. Oh, God. That's a snake. That's a snake. There's, there's no way it saw me from there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a relicanth. All right, the piranhas. I will take any snakes can fucking do one. My spear broke. <laughs> Love that. Just get out, just get out. That snake's not following me, has it? Quickly craft another spear, craft another spear. Oh, piss off. Oh, I killed it. I killed it. Look at it. God, I'm good at the game. All those hours spent in Escape from Tarkov and Valorant. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Reload quicker. Okay, okay. Okay, we get snakes in two hits. Yo, fuck this place. Oh, shit, what's this? What's going on? Oh, it's the snakes. Uh, the mosquitoes, right? Yeah, I hate this place. I hate this place. I feel sweaty. <laughs> Just being here. Take me to the coast. I feel comfortable on the beach. The coast didn't have snakes. 
mangroves have snakes. Coasts have white sand and a cool breeze. Mangrove has moist air. We go back to coast. Oh, I feel so naked and vulnerable being this far away from um, my home. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Oh, a long-necked lizard again. They're quite friendly. This is awesome. Big f Oh, shit, I'm starving. Big fan of archers. Shit, not big fan of these. Oh, I'm so good at the game. I'm so good at the game. Oh, oh God, three sharks. Three. Three sharks. That's bad. Thank fuck that I didn't swim across that bay. Can you imagine? Can you? You are beautiful. Oh, God. Three shots and this one ain't dead. Oh, d d d uh, wait. Uh, what? There we go. Level 67. Whoa. This, uh, ooh. Don't you flirt with me flapping your tail. All right, that was only level seven. Oh, all right. Um, put this away. I kind of want to keep my eyes peeled for that. Oh, there's the little one. I'm sorry. Wow. You are awesome. I'm never going to get tired of seeing these. Oh. I wish you could like high five them or pet them. You know what I mean? Like if every dinosaur, if every dinosaur had like a, a part that you could scratch and it'll do that thing that dogs do with the back leg. Can I scratch you? No? Okay. Um, I'm going to leave before. Oh God, that's just insane. Again, I, I know I talk about it a lot. Um, but this game is ridiculously pretty. And just the environment and the atmosphere is insane. <laughs> Obviously, I never played Ark Evolved, and I don't, I don't know if was Ark Evolved, like, at this level when it was released, because I know it was released quite a long time ago. I don't think that it was. I don't, you know, whenever, when everybody talks about really pretty games, I'm not sure, at least from the people that I've spoken to, Ark Evolved has never kind of appeared, but I think certainly Ascendant now is always in, in the mention, that definitely for me in terms of really, really pretty games, but I know that, that it's kind of a, that pulled a shite bag mood, move with that you have to pay for this game. Even if you already have evolved. That doesn't make sense to me. Because it is just the same game. I think they've just added a, um, a little bit more content in. And obviously they've updated the engine. But I think it's pretty shit to make them pay. To uh, If you already have the game. You know, there's people with like... Seven. There should be a thing, right? The developer should have a quota. That's, that's not the right word I'm looking for. But say you... you if you play a game for like... 5,000 hours, 4,000 hours, 3,000 hours even. The developer should be able to say to Steam or the different people, like, if this person reaches X amount of hours in my game, they will either get the next one for free or they get a refund on the game. That would be only fair, right? If you've given that much time to something. Because if you give it... Ah! What, what pushed me off then? What pushed me off? Gravity, man, I tell you, it's another gravity sneeze. If you put that amount of hours into something, it means that you love it, or at one point you loved it, and then... I feel like when it, when, if you get, like, over a thousand hours in a game, you'll see it, and you you must assume, oh, that person loves that game. they got a thousand hours in it. And you ask them, and they're like, no, I hate that game, it's a piece of shit. I feel like there's just a circle of life when it comes to video games. When you play it that much, you just hate it. But you, at one point, you loved it so much that nothing else compared that you still play that game to try and get that feeling. But it never comes. It never comes. Further around, we went, navigating the rock pools and the beach until eventually we found our path blocked by an inlet of rock. This meant we were going to have to swim in the ocean for the first time. <laughs> God. I don't really want to swim around here. As long as I don't... Whoa, nah, 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 that. 
tell you it's really nice playing games that aren't solely revolved around the, the ocean but i feel like my time will come in this game very open this is that the island that is shit We've got a bit of swimming to do there i reckon if we go to that this bit here look we go here either to here or here that's the shortest swim. That looks quite shallow here. Look, you kind of see that it's grey, not blue. I reckon we go here. I'll tell you right now that that shit. That is a really shit time. God, the game's pretty. That's deep, that isn't it? I don't see anything in the water though. I think we just gotta send it. Oh, okay, here we go. We're just gonna squint, sprint. W key. Balls deep, here we go. Please, 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 please. Please over there. Three, two, one. Oh, oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Just go, just go. Go first person, actually. Don't need to see what's around us. Don't need to see what's around us. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're cold, but we're fine. Cold and fine. Hurry up! Just brown up, that's fine. Holy... Of course we get here, though. Has this... Oh, wait. Oh my god, they have tentacles, look at them. It's like pubes. We had finally arrived at our island. I was equal parts excited and apprehensive to explore. Looking at the map, there appeared to be a sort of path leading up to the highest point, the very centre of the island. It wasn't long though until we stumbled across something. Oh, structure. I bet you there's a note. Save the game. I bet you there's a no here. I knew this looked interesting. I knew it. I knew it. The oh. no. Here we go. The wondrous properties of the flora on this island will never cease to amaze me. If I told my colleagues in London that I could create a concoction capable of erasing someone's memories, they would be laughed out of the room and never invited to tea again. Yet here it sits, my mind wipe tonic. As usual, I've had tribal leaders groveling at the gates of Rockwell Manor just for the tiniest of samples, and for the recipe, oh, the bounties I've been offered. I'm not interested in their riches, though. I have their protection, supplies for my studies, and all the time in the world. What more could I ask for? Mind wipe tonic. Now I don't, I don't, I don't know whether these notes are just purely for lore, for the story, or whether there's elements of tutorials in them. In terms of, is is there mind wipe tonic in the game? And I can find it. Oh, oh, look at this. Whoa. Whoa, that's a really thin book. Look, there's only one page. Does that mean then that if I had babies that looked like those, so... What, what, what would they look like? Mind wipe. And then I put them in a mortar and pestle with what? What's that? Like, am I reading too much into it? Or... Is that what are there? I also learned that you guys told me um, that the actor, uh, voice actor is David Tennant, which I fucking think is amazing. I think he's brilliant. But mind wiped on it. Okay. Not sure about this Rockwell guy though. He does seem rather creepy. Look, all the rock formation point towards it. Did that beam make that rock formation do that? Is that like a crater or is it a coincidence? That's a cliff. You know what? Is that... Is that where it's pointing? Look, here. Oh, we can't...
can't not go and have a look, right? We're so close. Oh, I've got no shoes. What's going on here? Let me make some shoes real quick. Darkness was beginning to fall in the sky and hunger beginning to rumble in my stomach. We decided the best plan was to head back down to the coast to light a fire, rest and feed. <laughs> oh, another note. Here we go. What do we got? Ah, oh, I was ever so glad to see Miss Walker again. My assistants are clever in their own right, but dear Helena is still the only person that I feel comfortable diving into my deeper theories with. I fear that I may have kept her from getting a word in edgewise, though. Once I got going on the obelisks... Obelisks? Why, I just couldn't contain my enthusiasm. My word, I really have become quite enamoured with the subject, haven't I? Well... That settles it. After this next set of trials, I shall go check on the Iron Brotherhood's progress. Perhaps I can convince Miss Walker to join me. We could make a real scientific expedition out of it. A little whisper behind the, um, the voices. I wasn't really listening to the last bit. Um, Iron Brotherhood's. What's the Iron Brotherhood's? Miss Walker. Helena. Helena Walker is the one that we've got the notes from. Um, and he's talking about the obelisks. So I'm 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 presuming. I don't know why. The the obelisks are the big things with the lights coming down. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I don't actually know what an obelisk actually is. Oh, whenever I hear obelisk, all I think is obelisk the tormentor from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, is there going to be another note? Oh, God, I hope there's no notes underwater. F fucked up for a laugh. Absolutely not. So what are these from then? Humans? People? Aliens? I don't know. We're not on Earth. I, I'm, I said that with an awful lot of confidence. I don't feel that confident. I don't think this is Earth. I mean, it could be time traveling. Maybe. Is there a, a chesticle around here? It's definitely some sort of ruins. These are all cobbled. This is like... This ain't like us now modern times, is it? This is like slightly older. Reminds me of buildings of Plague Tale Requiem. God, what a good game that was. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I've gone from feeling really good about killing these to feeling not so good. I mean, I think they're fully grown. I'm not massacring children. Here. It's not like the Anakin Skywalker killing all of the uh, the halflings. In um, is Star Trek that? I always get mixed up. I think it's Star Trek. With a game that seems to have a fundamental focus on massive dinosaurs, huge, great big creatures, and strange alien artifacts in the sky, there was an awful lot of enjoyment about doing the most human thing possible. Lighting a fire on a beach and eating some food. No matter how grand the life forms may be on this island, it was the basic human need of survival that was the DNA of this world. Ah, that was poetic, wasn't it? Well, it was a load of bollocks, to be honest. You'd be surprised what shit one can speak while listening to calm, dramatic music. Listen, I hope you felt relaxed and comfortable because this is the part of the video where it all starts to go tits up. I think it's just a rock pop. Shit. Oh no. Oh. oh my god, what was that noise? High gloves, everything's... Everything broke. Everything broke. 
All my hiders. Shit at once, bro. Fuck. I'm just knocked out. I'm just knocked out. I'm just knocked out. Stop, stop, please, please, please. No, 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 no. Not like this. No, come on, please. No! I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I can't do anything! And here lies the biggest problem that we had today. I had all of the good loot, the juicy loot, and I didn't want to lose it. From my understanding, the dead bodies had a time limit on them as to when they could despawn. This meant I had a window of time to gather my loot back. The problem was, I didn't know how big of a window that was. Was it 10 minutes? Was it 20? Regardless, I had to find my way back over to my body as quickly as possible. And this, this is when we came up with an absolutely disgusting plan. What if we built a raft so we could go... Oh, the thought, though... It's like, do I just fuck about and do the same thing that I've just done and probably die along the way? Or do I get a raft? And maybe not die and get there? I need to move quick. I have everything I need to build a raft. Wasting absolutely no time at all, we gathered all of the wood, fibre and thatch we would need and went to the south edge of the map. How does it work? Oh, oh my god, it comes with a sail. Oh, I've been so used to playing raft, we have to build everything yourself. This comes with it. We can't. <laughs> Makes me so wappy. Right now, what do I do? Oh. Health, please. Oh my god, this thing's rapid. <sighs> okay, we can maybe not. We'll maybe not go like. No, they're sharks. I see sharks. I see sharks. Can you see them? Oh, God. Oh, my God. You see them on the right. Or maybe keep left. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I... Oh. Uh, um... If you're, for some reason, watching these art videos and you haven't seen my Subnautica playthrough, you know nothing about it. I have absolutely, astonishingly high levels of thalassophobia, um, and, which is a fear of open water. And this is making me deeply, deeply uncomfortable. There better not be any big fucking creatures. Um, but I really, really struggle with open water. So I'm, I'm not scared of water at all. I can swim through rivers if I can see the bankings, if I can see what's around me. No problem at all. Swimming pools, I'm fine. I can swim. I'm a good swimmer. I enjoy having a bath many many times in fact i prefer bath to showers but see when it comes to like open water yeah, you can't, and you can't see anything and it's like just expansive and it's well that, that really kind of fucks with me uh, what's that what's that oh, oh i can't i can't i can't i really can't Subnautica is terrifying. Raft was scary, but not quite as much as Subnautica. With with the, uh, the graphics being this much more re realistic, uh, I'm going to struggle. I'm really, really going to struggle in this game. I remember people recommended Ark in my um, Subnautica playthrough because they wanted to see me get scared of the ocean. Slowly but surely, we sailed across this bay and on to the other side. Whilst the cleanliness of my pants hadn't survived, Dino the Dino Slayer had. We now had the challenge of navigating this island in total darkness. 
Right, I'm just going to beach it. I'm just going to beach it. And hope that it parks. Alright. Okay. Nice. Nice, right. Oh shit, it's dark. Can I craft a, a torch, maybe? The torch provided me with a little light. Not nearly enough to see what was ahead, but enough to see what was right in front of me. We clambered our way back up towards our dead body. I can hear something, I can hear something, I can hear something. What was that? Oh. Fuck! Transfer all! Run. What have I got? Huh? Okay. Oh shit, shit. I need to get high. Can I get up there? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Huh? Oh. Oh. What's this? Stairs. Okay, okay, relax. Relax. Oh. I'm a little bit stressed. Oh my days. This is no fun, let me tell you. This is heebie jeebie central. I don't like being here in the dark. Looks so ominous. Right, I need to get up there. Save the game. Uh, I don't know how long these last. These supply drops before they disappear, but if there's a way I can get up. We circled this hill looking for a way to get up. Then we circled it again and circled it again. There did not appear to be a way up, no matter how hard we looked. The rain covering the noises of nearby creatures, the darkness of the thick night air, and the knowing that whatever had killed me was still out there, set me on edge. Eventually, we played a bit of Fortnite and built our way up to the top of the hill. Yes! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Wait, what? Wait. Oh, fuck off. Wait. It's actually, f it's gone. <sighs> oh, fine. <laughs> it's all right. I couldn't even get up anyway because I can't jump. Just so I can get up this little ledge. Yeah, I waste all of my resources. No problem at all. Janky ass game. I th this is absolutely exhausting, I will say. I'm having such a good time. So happy I missed that. <laughs> Great content, isn't it? I'm going to lose I'm going to lose my shit. Walk up the hill, homie. It's not that difficult, thank you. That, that's too much apparently. That bit there's too much. The game had got me to the point where I was feeling all sad and sassy. Even the accomplishment of getting my loot back didn't subside the frustration of dying in the first place. But this is okay. Dino the Dino Slayer does not give up that easily. In fact, we were ready to keep going. Oh. Oh. That would have been catastrophic. Um, right, let's go and I'm not saying we're going to it, but I'll say we'll have a gander at the, um, what I think is an obelisk. I'm kind of scared to call it an obelisk in case somebody, as soon as they see the video and they hear me call it obelisk, they're like, actually, I think you'll find that that is a totem or something. I love you guys, I really do. Don't get me wrong. So we set off in that direction, eager to put our death behind us. In fact... We were so eager to get there, so focused on our destination, that what we saw along the way absolutely stunned us. Oh! 
that in your pipe and smoke it. Right. And get rid of that now because we've got everything. Let's go have another look at it. Oh. Oh, we've got to be more careful here. We have to be more careful now. What's that? Oh, that's fine. It's a headwig. No, no. I want to get down to the coast because it's a lot more open. And I just feel like things are less likely to sneak up on you on the coast. You feel me? And you can't really run off any cliffs because you're at the sea level. Like, you're chunky as well. I'm going to get the supply thing before it goes. But you are chunky. Oh, my God. Oh, piss off. No, don't ruin the fucking moment, promise. Get off. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. On the obelisk as well in the, in the full moon. Tell you what. It doesn't, my computer doesn't like being near the big things. Shit. Uh, what? Eh? Was that a flying dinosaur or am I making shit up? Yup, that was a flying dinosaur. I have so many questions and no answers. We grabbed the supply drop, but in truth, we weren't really interested. These mountainous lizards were absolutely awesome in every sense of the word. I kind of, I'm getting the, the vibes of, um... Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, when you see the, um, what are they call the tall necks. Wow. Oh, God, there is two of them. Shit. The actual ground is shaking. I was playing on controller right now. We're going mental. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't come this way. Oh, you have, like, bad guy-looking teeth, like, scary teeth. Fuck it. Oh, God, what's that? What's that? Wait, that's just a headwig, isn't it? Wait. Oh, uh, you are in the mountain. Uh, this one's in the ground. Oh, boy. Now, if I go near that and interact with its physics, who knows where, we're, who knows where we'll end up. Can I, get a, can I get on your neck? Yeah, I'm on it. Oh, I'm on it. Ah, I'm on a dinosaur that I shouldn't be on. Holy hell. Look at this. Well, yeah, we need to not do that. That's going to end in misery. Oh, that looks cool though. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Ooh. Oh, for a... What the hell? Was I, I thought that was a dinosaur for a second. Um... We had arrived at this obelisk thing and discovered it was unreachable. There was no way I was going to be able to get up to the actual structure, but the big beam of light was hitting whatever was on that platform of rock. Of course, we had to go take a closer look, and as we drew closer, we felt different here. Like the area felt different. It was shrouded in mystery and red. 
Oh, fuck. I'm stuck on a ledge. It was all meant to be... Ah, uh, no! Oh. Oh, my God. What's going on? Oh, oh. There's no way this doesn't hurt, though, right? It's singing. Some, there's something in the middle. It's like Excalibur. Is there Excalibur? Oh, I kind of want a little bit more health for this, but... Okay. Oh, nah. What? Oh. It's pulsing. Okay. All right. What's making that noise? Oh. What the fuck? Generate dragon gamma. Use this to generate a portal to the dragon. F L a B B E R G A S T E D. By far the most accurate description of how I felt. No idea where you get artifacts from. This is more. Oh no, there's artifacts there as well. Plus some tent. Tentacles, Tyrannosaurus arm. Gig. Gigan. I had goosebumps the size of jelly beans, and my heebie-jeebie limit was well and truly exceeded. Whatever this place was, it felt like endgame. Or at least, not the level of Dino game. So we decided to head back towards home. Maybe move a little bit so I can get through there. Ah. Whoa! Good job you weren't a male. Oh no, where's your... Um, Never mind. Never mind. Why is that? Oh! Oh, supply drop. Supply drop. Supply drop. Supply drop. Look at this, man. <laughs> Such a good game. I am having so much fun with this. I can't tell you. There's, there's, it's just so much fun. I don't think there's going to be much good in this because it's just a white one. Three, two, one. I don't even need the meat. I don't even need that. I don't even need that. I can get that shit hella easy. <laughs> oh. That's there. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What's that? Oh! What was that? It was massive. Oh shit. Oh, it's dead. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Twat. Please don't let there be anything in the ocean again. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It does, does it attack rafts? Oh, I hate the thought of with the being a you know you see the videos sometimes like they come up on tick uh, tiktok they're not real they're like 3d art or not edit cgi or oh shit 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 oh that's more like a dolphin actually um but it was out in a boat and uh, uh and something big <laughs> big just appears underneath it oh i can't tell you it just makes me feel all hot and cold and it's like i've got 
pins and needles in my bollocks and I just immediately start perspiring like and all my phalanges and extraments and extremities I didn't mean extraments I don't, I don't my my shit doesn't sweat as far as I understand it <laughs> although if I see something in this water uh, it wouldn't be the strangest thing we'll see today right we literally want it here Right, we don't want to put it in too far. Just here. I'll do. <laughs> Get off! Save. You've all witnessed me save the game. We're home. We're home. Oh, Hedwig, can I pet you? Why can't I pet him? That looks all very good. Oh, wait, what was that? Enable mating? Not with me, I hope. <laughs> I wouldn't be allowed in a game, would it? I just need to be inside, safe, on my bed. It goes without saying that that was um, by far the most stressful uh, episode yet. Mm. A lot of water, a lot of big things. Um, death. Um, I, I not, might not look like it right now. Hey, actually, that's the, the, the bottom bit of this red bit is what we've seen here. Look, isn't it? There. So we've managed to come visit there and then that bit there just in the center was where we got to it's so big this map is so big it's ridiculous um but yeah listen thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video i um i really really do appreciate it um at the current time 86 percent of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed if you do the math if i had say 50 percent of people it would it would it'd be good it'd be really good um and if you are watching this end screen and you're not subscribed uh, need i say more um youtube members listen thank you so much for your support i really really do appreciate it it means the absolute world you're all absolute legends you're fit as fuck as well obviously if you're a youtube member it means you're fit as fuck um but the most important thing is thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go lay down now and i'll see you in the next one take it easy Let me scroll, I can't let you go